Hey what's going on guys welcome back hope you guys are having a pretty good day on today's video I'm going to talk about my Milwaukee tools uh, my cordless tools and I also want to share my experience with you guys on their warranty I've had these tools for about three years now um, except for this one this one and this one I've only had those for oh, I had these two for about two years and this one for about a year and in my opinion they have been the best uh, tool uh, cordless tools that I've, I've owned I've had a uh, Maco, I've had um, Craftsman and Ryobi, and in my opinion, these have been the best um, out of all of those. And also, their warranty is a lot better than most of all other cordless tools. But anyways, uh, to start this video, I want to talk about my favorite tool out of all of them. I like these about the same, but there's one that I really like the most, and it has proven itself uh, recently. And that's going to be my 3 8 M12 uh, cordless, rat cordless ratchet. I have a Matco one at work that's the 16 uh, volt. And that one ended up breaking. The head stripped inside so I wasn't able to take out any bolts with them. That one's rated for about 55 foot pounds of torque. But this thing performed uh, better than what I thought. And I was actually able to get into tighter, tighter spots. Um... And then I would if I were if I was using my uh, Maco one. It doesn't have as much power, but it still got the job done. Um, I was able to complete a a uh, fan clutch on a on a semi in 30 minutes, with uh, where it usually takes me about an hour to do because uh, I have to reach reach around um, like in between the the radiator cover and all that so i have to reach my hand in between the blades and get the six bolts with a regular ratchet and this thing was able to take take them out no problem so that's why um, i ended up using this for a month while my my macro one was getting fixed and i really liked it uh, it was a pretty great tool to have so i'm thinking about buying the fuel uh, version of it uh, the fuel ones are a little bit bigger and in my opinion, uh, the, the warranty on these are a lot better than the Maco. So if you guys are just starting, I would recommend getting these. Anyways, my second favorite uh, tool has to be this um, uh, 3 8 uh, Fuel, fuel uh, M12. Uh, this is the one that I've had to deal with warranty. So I ended up... Um, putting this on top of the motor and I was underneath the, or on top of the pit so that was probably like uh, I want to say 12 feet uh, from the ground and ended up breaking this it fell out of the, the truck when I started the truck and the the button wasn't working anymore so I wasn't able to engage it so my Matco guy sells these and I asked him if he could send it in to get it um um, warranty um, just so you guys know if you guys buy these from like online or or like in my case I bought this in at a pawn shop uh, make sure that it has the serial number uh, I don't know if you can see it here I'll show you guys on a newer one there you go that serial number it's what they asked for them uh, so they can send it in so if you don't have that, you'll have uh, they'll probably end up charging you like fifty dollars. Uh, that's what happened with my uh, th uh, quarter inch bit driver. Uh, the the sticker got scratched off, so I didn't have the the serial number. So they charged me. Well, I don't know if they're gonna charge me, but they told me they were gonna charge me fifty dollars to get it um, rebuilt. But yeah, um, so this one got sent in. The the serial number was still there. I've used it for uh, a bit now, so the serial number's kind of messed up now. But I should have wrote it down. But they were able to uh, fix it for free. They I guess they ended up replacing the motor inside and something internally. And it took about three weeks for them to get back to me on it. So in my opinion, uh, getting the the whole inside worked on for free was pretty good. Uh, the only thing that I um, know is on batteries is a two year warranty. But if you overcharge them, like let's say you um, 
take the tool and only use it for 30 minutes and you recharge them again that counts as a charging cycle so if you keep doing that it'll buoy the warranty faster than what um, what they what they uh, recommend so how I do mine I usually just let it die completely and then charge it so that way um, I don't buoy the warranty but yeah that's uh, one of my my second tool that I like the most my third tool that I like the most out of all these is my uh, uh, M18 3 8 this is not the fuel I've had these for for about three years now and this has been really nice I think it's rated for about 230 um, I'll get all the specs together and I'll put it down on the description box um, but anyways I bought this at a pawn shop with this this uh, charger and half inch half inch gun and a flashlight for I want to say 200 bucks in my opinion that was a pretty good deal just because uh, just this one the battery and a, and a charger new it would be about 200 200 dollars so in my opinion it was a pretty good deal but anyways uh, this thing like I said it's pretty badass it if I can't use this one I'll use this one and this thing is able to take out bolts that this one won't and the battery lasts for a long time as you can see um, you can uh, see the little charging uh, how much charge the battery has and these batteries are actually perform really well when it's cold uh, on my craftsman I have a set of craftsman uh, cordless tools as well and I left them in the garage and the freaking batteries die on me and they don't hold charge anymore so I gotta get a new set of batteries but each battery is about 20 bucks I believe but anyways uh, I have had the same this thing in my garage and the, the batteries still work pretty good um, but yeah that's uh, my third tool that I like the most um, I have another one my my half inch um, high impact gun that I bought I've made a video about it um, quite a, about a year ago I don't have it with me I have it in my <clears throat> my work but I forgot to bring it in but anyways uh, my third tool that I like is would have to be this one uh, it's a m12 it's a half inch bit uh, drill uh, I like it because it's really compact it's small smaller than this and it's lighter than this one um, and I was able to drill holes into the the semis uh, frame and it actually performed really really well um, it, this one came with a battery that battery the big um, the red lithium XC and I bought that one at a pawn shop as well. They usually go for about, I want to say, 140 or 150 with battery, and I ended up paying one or sorry, 80 dollars for it. It was brand new. I've already used it. I haven't used it as much as these, but like I said, I really like it for um, for not having to carry su such a big, bulky drill. So if you guys are looking for a drill and and don't want something that bulky I would recommend this one um, the other one that I really like would have to be this one my the bigger M18 drill uh, this thing has performed really well and this one I've had for uh, three years the same as this one like I said I bought these in a kit with a light and a half inch gun and it has been really good uh, I brought this one home because I bought this one um, so I wasn't using it as much so I brought this one home just to have one at home but uh, so far this thing has been really badass I haven't had any problems with it and I'm, I don't know how long it still has but I know the the warranty is five years so so hopefully it still has warranty if it ever goes out um, and my last tool that I like is, would have to be my M12 drill I replace this one for this one just because this one's only a 3 8 bit and I can't really fit anything bigger than than a 3 8 bit <laughs> um, but anyways um, this thing was pretty badass uh, it, I didn't have any problems with it I just brought it home because I ended up finding this one and it came with a bigger battery so I just have this one at work and I brought this one home 
just in case I have to get into tight spaces to drill something where, where I can't get in with this one. But yeah, uh, those are all my uh, cordless Milwaukee tools that I own. And in my opinion, they have been one of the best cordless tools that I've, I've had. Like I said, I've had uh, Matco uh, and Craftsman and Ryobi. The Ryobi ones got stolen, but their half inch impact isn't that great. But I mean, it's it's nice that it's pretty cheap. I believe I paid $129 for the half inch and the drill. And But I, like I said, I got stolen out of my carport. But but yeah, um, like I said, these tools are pretty badass. I recommend getting them. Um, I'll try to post some of the the websites where you can find them cheaper than you would if you were to go and buy them from Home Depot. Uh, but yeah, that's everything that I have to say. So if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions about any of the tools that you guys saw here, let me know in the comment section and I'll get back to you. But thank you guys for watching and have a great day.